Please stand for the singing of the national anthem, which will be sung by Irina McGann, a staff member at Clover Park Technical College, and Linda Rick, a CPTC student who is gradu graduating tonight from our pre-nursing direct transfer agreement program. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Linda and Arena, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And to Mr. Reuben Watson and the Cascade Communi Community Band, thank you as well. Let's give them all a round of applause. <laughs> to our faculty and staff, to the many family and friends in the audience, but most importantly, to you, our graduating class, Welcome to your 2015 Clover Park Technical College commencement ceremony. <laughs> My name's Tani Dotson. I'm the chief of staff here. And in addition to having the honor of welcoming all of you, I have the opportunity to introduce our guests on stage. If you would, please hold your applause until I have a chance to introduce everyone, I would appreciate it. And as I call their names, they're going to stand and stay standing. First, Clover Park Technical College's president, Dr. Lonnie L. Howard. Also joining us on stage is the Board of Trustees, starting with Ms. Mary Moss, our chair, Mr. Bruce Latchney, Dr. Robert Lennigan joining us for his final commencement ceremony as a Clover Park trustee. Bob, thank you for serving our students. Also on stage, Ms. Jeanette Ramos, the Vice President, General Manager of Fabrication for Boeing Commercial Airplanes. And our special guest, Dr. Jean Sherritt, Executive Director of the Washington Student Achievement Council the Vice President for Instruction, Dr. Joyce Loveday, the Vice President for Student Services, Mr. Ted Broussard, our faculty voice this evening, Mr. John Moyer, Graphic Technologies Faculty and Department Chair, and finally, the Executive Director of Clover Park Technical College's Foundation, Mr. Lyman Gifford. You might be 
As you can imagine, an event like this doesn't just come together without a great deal of planning and effort. So at this time, I'd like to ask the members of our graduation committee, led by Mr. Ron Wright, to stand and be recognized. Thank you so much for all of your work and effort. We have a wonderful ceremony planned for you on this special occasion. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Lonnie Howard, our president. Good evening, everyone. This is going to be an amazing event. But before we get started, I want to make a few acknowledgments. First, he serves on the governor's cabinet. I want to acknowledge my good friend, Dr. Gene Sherritt, the executive director of the Washington Achievement Council. Gene, would you just wave? Thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Clover Park has approximately 365 outstanding employees. I want to take a moment. I want all faculty, staff, directors, deans, please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Please stand. <clears throat> Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. One of our faculty, Don Souza, received national attention. He received the 2015 NYSAD Award for Excellence in Teaching. Don, would you please stand? Let's give him a round of applause. Last, but certainly not least, I want to acknowledge the graduating class of 2015. You do know tonight is all about you. Tonight we celebrate your successes. You're welcome. But, but, but as we celebrate your successes, I think we all realize that you did not get here by yourselves. So I want you to stand up right now, turn around, face the audience. I want you to acknowledge your family, your friends, your children. Yes, wave to the people that helped you to get here tonight to earn your diploma, your certificate, and your degrees. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Perhaps many of you know, but inside of the Statue of Liberty in New York City, in the lower level, there's a small plaque. Engraved on this plaque is one of my favorite poems, and I think it's appropriate to, to use tonight. Because this poem, it symbolizes the mission of Clover Park Technical College. This, the name of this poem is entitled The New Colossus. It's by Emma Lazarus, and she wrote it in 1883. Now the title might be unfamiliar, but when you hear the words, maybe you will recognize them. It reads, give me your tired, give me your poor, give me your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The poem goes on to say, and I'm paraphrasing, and to make them feel welcome I will lift my lamp 
besides the golden door. Now, unlike in this poem, Clover Park Technical College does not have any golden doors. But in our 73-year history, our college will and forever remain open. Our doors will remain open as a place of hope to help those and welcome them who want to, transit, uh, to, to transform their lives, as in the case of Dwayne Waller. Dwayne, would you please stand? Dwayne's on the front row. Remain, remain standing, Dwayne. Years after working at the same company, Dwayne was unexpectedly unemployed. He depleted his savings account and was homeless and forced to sleep in abandoned cars. But because of the transformational mission of Clover Park Technical College, Dwayne is now on the road to success. Dwayne, you may be seated. But we have 1,285 graduates in the class of 2015. So I don't believe that Dwayne's story, his story of success is the only story. Because many of you, 65% of our students required financial aid just to pay for their classes. Some of you are the first in your families to ever attend college. Some of you, as you completed this journey here tonight, had issues with childcare, or you needed developmental education. But all of those things really don't matter tonight, because tonight we're celebrating. Because, yes, you can applaud. Yes, we are celebrating because 445 of you will be graduating with a GPA of 3.75 or higher. Yes, yes, we are celebrating because 520 of you will be, re be receiving employment ready job uh, certifications. 27% of you will be graduating with your associate's degrees. And 108 of you are veterans. Perhaps you are returning from the field of battle. And for that, we say thank you for your service. Graduating class of 2015, you are very unique. You range in age from 17 years old to age 65. Retirement. But what this does, it demonstrates that it's never too early or never too late to get an education. And because it's never too early, at Clover Park Technical College, we have the Northwest Career and Technical High School. And tonight I want to highlight one of your graduates. Damon Epley. Damon, would you please stand? He's on the front row. Tonight, Damon is graduating, and this is amazing. He's graduating both with a high school diploma and an associate's degree at the same time. Well, if you thought that was good, not only is he graduating with both of those credentials, but he's graduating with a 3.20 in computer information, network, and security systems. What a great start to life. Clover Park 
mission is truly working. My last point is, as I talked about in the beginning of that poem, that Clover Park is a place to make you feel welcome. But not only is Clover Park a place that is welcoming, but we're also, our mission is also about preparing you for 21st century jobs. We offer programs such as, you're graduating tonight in programs such as surgical technology, <laughs> cosmetology, <laughs> health unit coordinator, <laughs> hemodialysis, <laughs> and my last roll call shout out is medical assistance. Graduating class of 2015, tonight is all about you or about you being more apt to be prepared to be productive members of society. But not only that, you are now pre-positioned to live out the best of the American dream. And for that reason, class of 2015, we celebrate your success Congratulations, and I'm so proud of each of you. Thank you, and next we will hear from our board chair, Mary Moss. Good evening, everyone. And to all of you that are graduating, welcome to your journey to the next chapter of your life. I am Mary Moss. And I am, it is my pleasure to speak to you tonight on behalf of the trustee board at Clover Park Technical College and to share with you all how proud we are of you, of your accomplishments. But please understand that in this challenging 21st century economy, a high school diploma simply is not enough. Become grand, gain, to, it's not enough to help you become gainfully employed and realize a family-sustaining job. For those of you that are completing your high school diploma, we encourage you to continue on to college and pursue a certificate or a degree because they will open doors for you for great opportunities. While working towards your educational goals, Many of you face great challenges along the way, and we want you to know we understand that. We know you were determined, you persevered, you, you had great determination, fortitude, and resilience. Thank you so much. This ceremony signifies an important milestone in your life, but education, of course, does not end tonight. It doesn't end with a degree or certificate or diploma. Learning is a lifelong quest. Seeing you all achieve your educational goals confirms the immense value of our work and each member of the Board of Trustees is honored to have been a part of it. Again, from the trustees of Clover Park Technical College, congratulations. And at this time, thank you. And at this time, I'd like to offer up the faculty and department chair, Mr. John Moyer. Thank you. Good evening. I am honored to speak to you on behalf of the faculty of Clover Park Technical College. Through our recent accreditation process, Northwest Commissions on Colleges and Universities applauded Clover Park faculty and students for a culture of mutual respect. Clover Park is not an average college. There's a very special relationship between faculty and students here at Clover Park. Clover Park faculty are not average faculty. 
We are driven by industry standards. We offer fast track associate degrees in a viable career paths in as little as 15 months. Our days include intense lectures, assessments, and supervised labs. One-on-one -on -one instruction and in individual career building is our standard. We respect you as individuals eager for knowledge. You are not average college students. You are extraordinary. You are adults with life experience and responsibilities. You have chosen vocational education to meet your career goals. You are driven by your dreams of success for not only yourselves, but your families. Your respect for faculty is reflected in your effort and accomplishments. Faculty and students become a team united by mission. Our journey together often starts at an information session. You were curious and excited to learn about our industries, how we structure our programs, and most importantly, where this journey can take you. As our journey began, we discussed expectations for faculty and students for your success. Community and friendships formed, other classmates joined our team, and you discovered something faculty believe in. There's nothing more satisfying than to help others and be a positive influence moving forward. 11 weeks of hard work and sacrifice fly by. Time to catch your breath, review your progress, and start another quarter. Faculty understand the classroom challenges and we accept your life challenges. We are here to help you persevere. Quarter after quarter, the team's bond becomes greater, focused on your success. Before you realize it, it's over. It's time to graduate and continue your journey. There is an air of excitement and apprehension. We have worked together for over a year, and we know you are prepared and will succeed. We are so very proud when alumni share their industry journeys and successes with us, this relationship between faculty and students certainly mimics a family. Welcome to the Clover Park family. Congratulations. Go and be successful. Celebrate your victories. It's my pleasure to introduce Katie Stock, Associated Student Government President. Thank you for that kind introduction and inviting me to speak today. I would first like to share my appreciation for our faculty, our staff, and our board of trustees for being here with us tonight. Family and friends, class of 2015, I am both honored and humbled to be here with you tonight sharing this moment. It is your hard work and support of one another that has been paramount to overcoming obstacles and leading you to graduation. Class of 2015, I'd like you to take a second to turn to your neighbor. Shake their hand and congratulate them on this tremendous accomplishment. Yeah, there's that support, right? Yeah. This is what it's all about, celebrating this moment together. Once again, my sincere congratulations on this accomplishment and being here tonight. My name is Katie Stock. I've, I've had the pleasure of serving as your Associate Student Government President this year. I arrived at Clover Park in the fall of 2013 with one goal. That goal was to complete the Architectural and Engineering Design Degree Program as quickly as possible 
so that I could graduate, get back into the workforce, and continue to build a better life for myself and my husband. I quickly realized many things are easier said than done. It has been challenging to juggle my responsibilities and my passions since returning to college. I've had to make many difficult decisions about what needed to be sacrificed now for my future well-being. But I know this experience is not uniquely my own. We can all measure our academic success by what we have had to give up. We have lost sleep. We have missed out on time with family and friends. And we've put our hobbies on hold. These decisions were made because we knew that in the end, what we gave up now will pay us back. Well, now we cash in on that hard work. What we receive in return is more than just a graduation ceremony. Tonight, we graduate to a new chapter of our lives. But these are the moments that make all the juggling worthwhile. We have not been alone in our determination. Along the way, we have been supported by various resources and a diligent network of staff and faculty members. I personally owe a great deal of gratitude to the faculty members who ran my program. Carrie Muir, who I saw over here somewhere, uh, and Dean Lamb. Not only did they, yeah, not only did they graciously share their knowledge with me, they shared their time, their energy, and their encouragement to ensure that I would be successful in my chosen field. Their dedication to my success is evidence of the lengths that Clover Park faculty go to support student success. And we've helped each other. It is important to recognize those of our peers who have reached out, despite their student responsibilities, to lend a hand. They are those who have stayed after class to work through a project. They have brought you your homework when you were ill. Or once they understood, they have stayed to teach others. The late Dr. Maya Angelou was quoted as saying, when you learn, teach. When you get, give. That, my friend, is what gives your story purpose and meaning. Now, as we move on from this moment and continue our journey in new directions, acknowledge those bumps along the way and let them become a part of your story. Don't simply tell a story about what you want to be, but who you want to be. Tell a story about what you want to accomplish and why. Because when you inevitably stumble, and find yourself unable to move forward, it is the why of that story that will get you through. You may feel uneasy now as we are leaving the structure of college and must soon be putting those Clover Park credentials to the test. But I encourage you to find strength in the challenges that you have already overcome. I have seen firsthand the strength of all of you sitting here with us tonight. Your hard work and perseverance has gotten you this far. Let's use it to propel us to the next chapter of our lives. No matter what challenges or bumps in the road that you may encounter along the way, you will continue to find success on this path that you have began at Clover Park. This is just the first of many celebrations. Congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you, Katie. It's an honor to introduce our 2015 commencement speaker, Jeanette E. Ramos. I selected Jeanette to be our commencement speaker for two reasons. One, Clover Park, because of its educational programs, has a direct and indirect connection with the Boeing Company because of our programs like pilot training 
aviation maintenance, NDT, welding, composites, and mechatronics. But the second reason I selected Jeanette was because 64%, the majority of our students are female. And I think that Jeanette is a great example of what women can achieve. Jeanette has had an illustrious career with Boeing. In 1987, she started with the company as an environmental engineer. And within 28 years, she has had constant and progressive career growth. In that, she's held two different director's positions. She's also held three different vice president's position. And she currently serves as both a VP and a general manager. Jeanette has oversight of over 17,000 employees worldwide. She has, in terms of her academic credentials, she holds a BS degree, an MBA, and is a graduate of the Harvard Business School. Without any further ado, please help me welcome Jeanette Ramos. And let me say this as Jeanette comes forward. You might want to really applaud extra loud because Jeanette can help you get a job at Boeing. Jeanette. Oh my gosh, so he set the bar. <laughs> Thank you for that kind introduction, Dr. Howard. And first and foremost, a hearty congratulations to the 2015 Clover Park Technical College graduates. <laughs> yeah. You, you have been on a challenging journey culminating in tonight's ceremony. I'd like to also share my congratulations and thank you also to your family, your friends, faculty, administration, and the community that provided you with the support to successfully graduate tonight. And why am I here? My purpose today is to impart some perspective and inspire you to think beyond graduation. A central theme in my brief talk is about community. And it, it really truly is simply an honor for me to stand here before you in the Tacoma Dome. I'm back in my hood. Uh, yeah. So, so although I've lived in other states, I have deep roots in Tacoma. In fact, I graduated from Henry Foss High School. All right, there you go. Um, in fact, one of the first three students to have completed the entire battery of the International Baccalaureate exams in the state of Washington. So I stood here giving my high school graduation speech many years ago, but a girl's got to keep her age a secret. And in fact, my grandmother turned 102 last year, having lived more than half of her life in Pierce County. Thank you. So, since some of you may simply view me as an obstacle to your cap throwing, I will be brief. I also know that all of you will be grading me as I share my remarks. So I decided to do my homework in preparation for tonight. I learned during my field visits to your campuses that Clover Park's core themes are workforce preparation, student success, and institutional excellence. Workforce preparation is very important to the Boeing Company. In fact, we are the largest employer in Washington State with over 80,000 employees strong, and I hope some of you are in the audience. This is more than Microsoft, Nordstrom, Amazon, and Starbucks combined. And I was so impressed by your aviation school at South Hill Puyallup right next to Thun Landing Field. The combination of hands-on learning FAA and industry collaboration and quality focused instructors is remarkable. In fact, 
we hire over 80% of your composites curriculum graduates. So while Boeing is very interested in aviation, we also value the communities in which we live and work. All of your programs are necessary for building a strong community, whether in healthcare, auto services, computing, culinary, personal services, and I think health and human services I heard was left out earlier. <laughs> you know that saying, it takes a village? Well, from my perspective, it's not just a saying. Whether you are concerned about your neighborhood, city, state, country, or the world, we must engage in making the world a safer and more peaceful place. I'm sure you are aware of this, but with about 350 million in the USA, we are but a small fraction of the seven and a half billion people in the world. And I've been to over 25 countries while working for Boeing. And workforce preparation is definitely important. But I would also add that your leadership is absolutely necessary to ensure a positive future for generations to come. Whether it's the environment, civic causes, or education, pick something that is important to you or energizes you and engage, lead, seek what you find joy in. When I graduated from FOSS, I had a singular mission to become a doctor just like my mom. And what I discovered during a summer job at Boeing is I derived a great amount of energy working for a wonderful company. And that company will soon celebrate a 100-year hallmark in a month. And although I did not become a doctor, my mom didn't disown me, and I think I turned out OK in my career. I find great joy at the Boeing Company. So workforce preparation is absolutely necessary to a strong community. And I have the honor of leading over 18,000 people in my fabrication team around the world. We could not be successful without having qualified and trained employees. And the fact that you have almost 100 veterans here graduating tonight is a testament to Clover Park's mission of helping people make career transitions. In fact, another central focus of Clover Park is student success. Your passion and interest is key to finding a fulfilling career. Build on your success as a student, on your life filled with family and friends, I would also ask you to think about creating enough of your personal capacity to engage and lead in the community. You know, last year Boeing, its employees and retirees contributed over 53 million to the community charities and nonprofits in Washington. We also happen to be the largest taxpayer with over 475 million that provides a substantial engine to run this state. Our payroll alone in Washington is over $7 billion. And we need a strong community to support Boeing. The last theme I learned about Clover Park is institutional excellence. As an institution, you are looking to the future, investing in infrastructure and finding new ways to collaborate so that you can continuously improve your programs. You value leadership that has the courage and foresight to understand the vital role that your institution and graduates will play in the community. As you may have already observed, and I know you're still grading my speech, community is a central theme I want to leave you with. As graduates, you have a newfound capacity, in other words, free time. I would suggest you carve out some of that free time to invest in the world. My 12-year-old daughter helped me write my speech tonight, and her thought is that you are ge the generation that can change things. Goals can be achieved, like tonight. New goals can be set. And never stop if something gets in your way. Your family, friends, teachers, we all believe in you. As I've found in my career, it's not enough to be satisfied at graduation. Think big. Thanks to Boeing airplanes, we make the world a smaller place. And almost 100 years ago, Bill Boeing decided to transition from the timber industry to making airplanes. He had an enormous passion for flight and found joy in making a difference in the world. Make a difference in our community and lead beyond graduation tonight. 
With that, I wish you great success in all your endeavors. Congratulations, and thank you again for sharing this special time with me. Thank you, Jeanette. It was truly an honor to have you with us this evening and to give such an inspirational speech. Before we proceed further, I have an announcement that really is only important to one of you, but it will make the difference of a good night or a bad night, and that is that a set of keys were dropped by one of the graduates. So if your keys are on a keychain that's a Bosch Motorsport keychain, they've been turned into the security office and you can pick them up after the ceremony. Okay. Right. Now is the time for us to present the graduates to Dr. Howard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like you're ready. Okay. okay. So will the candidates of the Associate of Applied Technology degrees, the Certificate of Completion, High School Diploma, and high school equivalency exam, please rise. That's all of you graduates. <laughs> okay. So, President Howard, members of the Board of Trustees and guests, on behalf of the CPTC faculty, I present to you the graduating class of 2015 and certify that each of the candidates has successfully completed all of the requirements for the degrees, the certificates, or the diplomas, and the high school equivalencies for which they are about to receive. Will the candidates for graduation please come forward by row to be recognized by all of us and to receive your degree. Dwayne Waller, CNISS. Erica Carter Bouquet, High School Diploma. Damon Epley, Computer Networking. Marissa Sison, High School Diploma. Katie Stock, Architectural Engineering. Dorica Gant, High School Diploma. Linda Rick, Pre-Nursing. Selena Levitt, High School Diploma. Christina Spiker, Hemodialysis Technician. Joshua Johnson, High School Diploma. Betty Wani, hemodialysis technician. <laughs> Ashley Tolentino, high school diploma. <laughs> Sydney Hodge, health unit coordinator.
Joshua Busing, high school diploma. Regina Pittman, early childhood education. Cody Welsh, High School Equivalency Diploma. Bethany King, Early Childhood Education. Mariana Allen Castro, High School Diploma. Doris Marston. Early Care and Education, AA Degree. Valerie Sayavong, High School Diploma. Deshante Wood, Early Childhood Education. Jessica Case, High School Diploma. Jacqueline Kelly, Early Care and Education. Janine Anson, High School Diploma. Yeah. Tracy M. Anderson, Early Childhood Education. Megan Long, high school diploma. Woo! Katarina Starnes, early childhood education. Woo! Katrina Long, high school diploma. Woo! Demetrius Craddock, human services. Ian Carter, high school diploma. Anhee Han Weiniger, human services. Jose Trujillo, high school diploma. Vivian Hardy, Human Services. Jasmine Zuniga, High School Diploma. Benjamin C. Funk, Chemical Dependency. Shari Lewis, High School Completion. Diane Weston, Chemical Dependency. Clara Thomas, High School Diploma. Michael Johnson, Chemical Dependency. Christina Wren, High School Diploma. Woo! Jessica Nixon, Chemical Dependency. Martina McQueen, High School Diploma. Ashley Duncan, high school diploma and chemical dependency. Yes. Elizabeth Woolard, high school diploma. Atlantis Acres Newton, chemical dependency.
Cheryl Parsons High School Diploma. Jose Luis Villagomez, Chemical Dependency. Stephen Fleek, High School Diploma. Takelia Pinstock, CNA, and High School Diploma. Or Chad Wise, high school diploma. Takia Stewart, high school diploma and CNA. Kevin John McFadden, high school diploma. Angelique Holmes, Early Childhood Care Education, AA degree. Gabrielle Paisano, High School Diploma. Elijah Ua, High School Diploma. August Pablo, high school diploma. Jade Erickson, high school diploma. Laurie Farrell, human services and chemical dependency. Mayumi Nutter, high school diploma. Audrey Wills, Chemical Dependency. Zane Frazier, High School Diploma. Jamie Lynn Dahl, Human Services. Bryce Epley, High School Diploma. Gina Munoz, Human Services. Manuel Delgado, High School Diploma. Kiri Greer, Human Services. Kevin Joseph Curry, High School Diploma. Olivia James, Human Services Program, Associate of Applied Technology. Gabrielle Lee Kayser, High School Diploma. Ebony Howell, Associate Human Services. Taylor Jacqueline Diaz, High School Diploma. David Pops Hall. Associate Degree, Human Services. Siobhan Julia Kim, High School Diploma. Lena Wilson Mays, Human Services.
DeAndre Lagan, high school diploma. Tamri Whitner, Human Services, Associate of Applied Technology. Zakayla Fuller Blackwell, NAC Certificate and High School Diploma. Shakira Robinson, Nursing Assistant Certified. Sunny Wynn, High School Diploma. Emily Colpitz, Human Services. Jake Evan Tilo, High School Diploma. Chelsea Jones, Human Services. Bernice Domingo Arenas, CNA and High School Diploma. Lloyd Rowe, Associate in Human Services. Miriam Velasquez Gutierrez, NAC and High School Diploma. Lacey Kaiser, Dental Assisting Associate's Degree. Crystal Velasquez, High School Diploma. Shannon Cassad, Dental Assisting Degree. Jose Cuarenta Silva, Culinary Arts Degree. Stephanie Smith, Dental Assistant Degree. Yasmin Howell, Retail Management Associates Degree. Catherine R. Smith, Dental assisting. That's it. Hugo, aka Jasmine, high school diploma. Leticia Marvin, dental assistant degree. Evelyn De Los Reyes, High School Equivalency. Casey Leedy, Dental Assistant Degree. Lucas Antis, High School Diploma. Ashley Burns, Dental Assistant, Associate Degree. Chantel Wolford, High School Diploma. Nana Tokeshi, Central Services and Sterile Processing. Ebony Randall, High School Diploma. Gabrielle Bosch, Central Service, Sterile Processing. Kirsten Yotter, High School Diploma, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Tavish Casey, Central Service, Sterile Processing. Yeah. 
Alexandra Bodine, high school diploma, health unit coordinator, EKG. Carmela De Leon, Central Services, Sterile Processing. Tajane De Graffenried, High School Diploma. Maria Ramirez Barrientos, Central Services, Sterile Processing. Tyler Moreno, High School Equivalency. Jessica Estrada Perez, Central Service, Sterile Processing. Kevin Pineda, High School Diploma. Lolita Edge, Central Services, Sterile Processing. Demetrius Holmes, High School Diploma. Christina Elaine Bryan, Central Services, Sterile Processing. Nathaniel Hurley, High School Diploma. Anishka Hardison Watkins, Human Services. Alexis Davenport, High School Diploma. Amber Vonda, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG. Danielle Solander, Culinary Arts. Jessica Raffaro, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG. Damien Marcel, Culinary Arts. Robin Mena, Health Unit Coordinator, and EKG. Alyssa Johnson, Interior Design. Jasmine McCorvey, Health Unit Coordinator, and EKG. Natalie Collins, Interior Design. Courtney Violet, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG. Amber Holden, Interior Design. Shanae Mosley, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Kareen Grossusman, Interior Design. Samantha Kim, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Emily Tyndall, Interior Design. Kaylee Lawless, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Bianca White, Interior Design Degree. Molly Simons, 
dental assistant. Jacqueline Butterfield, interior design degree. Brianna Floyd, dental assistant. Bet Marie Bennett, interior design degree. Alicia Stevens, dental assistant degree. Casey Swantick, cosmetology. Terry Reber, dental assistant degree. Ashley Heasley, cosmetology degree. Rebecca Nelson, dental assistant degree. Emily Enns, cosmetology degree. Megan Agnew, dental assisting, honor roll. Mila Gol Golovenko, cosmetology degree. Jessica Talavera Gonzalez, pre-nursing and high school diploma. Pen Song, cosmetology. Brandy Andihar, hemodialysis. Tanera Moore, retail business management. Cassandra Galermo Gerton, hemodialysis technician. Kelson Williams, culinary arts. Amanda Warren, hemodialysis technician. Larry Malloy, Culinary Arts. Morgan Beatty, Hemodialysis Technician. Mary Hill, Culinary Arts. Chantel Maine, hemodialysis technician. Michaela Lutterlow, culinary arts degree. Domino Burke, hemodialysis. Haley Dugan. Culinary Arts. Natalie Welcome, Hemodialysis Technician. Ed Jarris Frio Condolor, Culinary Arts. Alma B. Marcello, hemodialysis technician. Kayleen Lee, restaurants operation management. Woo! 
Lisa Marie Walker, hemodialysis technician. James Wang, culinary arts degree. Haifa Alu Asu Lu May. No. I know. You see it. Haifa El Suleimani. <laughs> Hemodialysis technician. <laughs> Kevin William Foster, culinary arts degree. Rowena Stansel, hemodialysis technician. Scott Durant, culinary arts degree. <laughs> Charles Carter, Jr., health unit coordinator and EKG. Ricky J. Angel, culinary arts degree. <laughs> Janae Henson, health unit coordinator. Andy KG. Justin Muta, culinary arts degree. Catalina Postica, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Amber Kruger Malden, Pastry Arts and Culinary Arts degree. <laughs> Fong Tran, Pharmacy Technician. Brianna Bedwell. Culinary Arts degree. Joseph Hedrick, Pharmacy Technician. Rachel May, Master of Aesthetic Sciences degree. Serena Oliver, Early Child Care Education. Uni Hoffman, Master Aesthetic Science degree. <laughs> Jessica Cuff, Hemodialysis Technician. Shasta Miller, Master of Aesthetic Sciences degree. Kimberly Garcia, hemodialysis technician. Heather Coakley, Master of Aesthetic Science degree. Sierra King, hemodialysis technician. Denise Bowser, master medical aesthetics degree. <laughs> Heather Duell, hemodialysis technician. Danny Scharf, Master Medical Science degree. Okay. 
Sierra Miles, hemodialysis technician. Sandra B. Von Zimmerman, Master Medical Sciences degree, aesthetics degree. Samantha Valespi, hemodialysis technician. Lilibeth Waters, Master Aesthetic Science degree. Sarah Gibson, hemodialysis technician. Jessica Gooderham, Master Aesthetic Science degree. Kylie M. Anderson, hemodialysis technician. Tessa Zuloff, Master Medical Aesthetic Science degree. Julie M. Mead, Certified Hemodialysis Technician. Jessica Hunter, Master Aesthetic Science Degree. Louis Orm, Hemodialysis Technician. Rosemary Lindsay, Master of Aesthetic Science degree. Na Kim, Hemodialysis Technician. Graciela Meza, Pastry Arts degree. Liliana Mejia, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Khadija Riley, Pastry Arts Degree. <laughs> Silvia Araceles Nunez, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Michelle Henderson, Pastry Arts Degree. J.C. Harper, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Lachey Cruz Carbolito, Cosmetology. Kayan Alicia Hastings, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Lanisha Presley, Cosmetology Degree. Jasmine Hicks, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG Technician. Sarah Decker, Cosmetology Degree. Ayana Bayo, Associate of Technology, Pharmacy Technician. Natasha Stevens, Cosmetology. Mi Kyun Wan, Pharmacy Technician, Associate of Applied Technology. 
Kayleen McSweeney, Cosmetology. Rachel Rivera, Pharmacy Technician. Kimberly Johnson, Cosmetology. Janice James, Pharmacy Technician and Associate's Degree. Sony Jones, Cosmetology. Brittany Berkey, Pharmacy Technician, Certified. Jordan Redinger, Cosmetology. Galilee McCarroll, Associate of Applied Technology, Pharmacy Technician. Hannah Jorgensen, Aesthetics Degree. John Barnett, Pharmacy Technician, Associate of Applied Technology. Jennifer Furman, Aesthetic Sciences. <laughs> Monica Atwood, Pharmacy Technician. Artanisha Miller, Aesthetic Science. Trang No, Pharmacy Technician. Sorry if I missed that up. Katrina Sullivan, Aesthetic Sciences. <laughs> Agnes Constantino, Surgical Technology. Maria Alberto, Master Aesthetic Science Degree. Natalie West, Surgical Technology. <laughs> Jessica Marie Matthews, Master Aesthetic Science Degree. Matt Berg, Surgical Technology. Jennifer Johnson, Master Aesthetic Science. Alisa Edwards, Surgical Technology. Mia Sotis Coronado, Swedish Massage Therapy. Alicia Krug, Surgical Technologist. Mackenzie Atterbury Bach, Clinical and Swedish Massage. Danielle Ramos, Surgical Technologist. Carol Winslow, Clinical and Swedish Massage Certificate. Crystal Almanza, Surgical Technology. Laura Kutska, Cosmetology.
Diane Marie Anderson, AA Surgical Technology. Stacy Henry, Cosmetology. Elena Dostin, Surgical Technology. Jenea Day, High School Diploma in Cosmetology. <laughs> Katarina Zemlanskaya, Surgical Technology. Sean Roach, Cosmetology. Miranda Swansea, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Kaylin Cooper, Cosmetology and High School Diploma. Rodika Skolnik, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Jordan Mills, Cosmetology. Audrey Hurton, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG. Sarah Richards, Cosmetology. Emily Toomey, Licensed Practical Nurse. Angelica Hester, Cosmetology. Ijioma Igwe, Licensed Practical Nurse. Gloria Lee, Cosmetology. Samira Saeed, Licensed Practical Nurse. Gail Estrada, Cosmetology. Amanda Krager, Licensed Practical Nurse. Daniel Bacon, AAT degree and Cosmetology. Okay. Elisha Knight, Licensed Practical Nurse. Hemodialysis Technician and GED. Nadia Rukadanaya, A degree in Cosmetology. Gordon, Captain Riggles, Surgical Technology. Kare Elizabeth Howerton, Cosmetology Degree. Andre Vance Zagarungo, Surgical Technology. Montana Dryden Conway, Cosmetology Degree. Beth Schaff, Surgical Technology. Crystal Greer, Accounting Degree. Didi 
Augustine, Surgical Technology. Jody Jean Walker, Accounting Degree. Vanessa Blick, CST, Surgical Technology Degree. Leslie Potts, Accounting. Christina Cruz, Surgical Technology. Guyana Isakanya, Accounting Degree. Troy Francis, Surgical Technology. Anna Durbin, Accounting Associate's Degree. Kim McKissick, Surgical Technology. Godiva Jewel Lopez Razong, Accounting Degree. Lou Vo, Surgical Technology. Troy Kochel, Swedish Massage. Victoria Truesdale, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG. Larry Colson, Swedish Massage Associate's Degree. Alina Lipka, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG Technician. Karen Golightly, Massage Studies Degree. Chantrelia Stevens, Health Unit Coordinator and EKG Technician. Candy Kornick, Swedish Massage Certificate. Tisha Martin, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG Monitor Technician. Janet Ramirez, Massage Studies. Elizabeth Ann Kay, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG Technician. Michelle Clark, Swedish and Clinical Massage. Erica Aguilar, Health Unit Coordinator, EKG Technician. Stefka Stoyanova, Massage Studies Degree. Elena Hernandez, EKG and Health Unit Coordinator. Shandata Wright, Cosmetology. Danica Morton, EKG and Health Unit Coordinator. Mackenzie Greenway, Cosmetology Degree. Molly Davis, EKG and Health Unit Coordinator. Lisa Ba, Cosmetology. Sure.
Jennifer Bergstrom, licensed practical nurse. Marvia Jones, cosmetology degree. Diana Otwell, licensed practical nurse. Tara Shipman, cosmetology degree. Heather Parrish, licensed practical nurse. Misty Winesberry, cosmetology degree. Tyler Weber, medical assistant. Megan Angel, cosmetology degree. Courtney Thomas, medical assistant. Ashley Nicole Lewis, cosmetology degree. Tara Robison, certified medical assistant. Kathleen Weber, cosmetology degree. Deborah Del Fierro, certified medical assistant. Brittany Viles, cosmetology degree. Lori Capistani, Medical assistant. Janae Coney, cosmetology degree. Wendy Bates, medical assistant. Angela Chehoski, cosmetology degree. Samantha Elliott, medical assistant. Selena Ryman, cosmetology. <laughs> Melissa Shepard, medical assistant. Lethia Mitchell, Cosmetology Certificate and Degree. Serena Eidsaf, Medical Assistant. Bonnie Elmore, Cosmetology Degree. Shelly Fulkerson, medical assistant. Derek Carter Reichstead, computer network information system security degree. Irene Phillips, medical assistant. Brian Williams, Computer Network Information System Security Degree. Donna Eckert, Medical Assistant. Kavon Pearson, Computer Network Information System Security Degree.
Jenny Brown, medical assistant. Max Edwards, computer network information system security AST degree. Nikki Colbert, medical assistant. Freddie Ashley, environmental science degree. Alana Baz, medical assistant. Amber James, environmental science degree. Kimberly Bates, medical assistant. Gerald Brown, environmental science degree. Cecilia Hernandez, medical assistant program. Arlene Rosamond, environmental science degree. Stacy Golke, hemodialysis and histology associates degree. Ethan Stroh. Environmental science degree. Kim Tin Le, licensed practical nurse. Kevin Kamen, environmental science degree. Stephanie Lopez, medical assistant. Sela Comer, environmental science degree. Oh. Eunice Valencina, medical assistant program. Danielle Zufelt, environmental science degree. Patricia Euron, medical assistant. Mark Clauda, environmental science degree. Ashley Niclo Kark, medical assistant. Rashawn Fid, media design degree. Grisilda Gomez, medical assistant. Corey McNeil, AAT. Computer Networking and Information System Security. Harley Antoinette Elizabeth Rauscher, Medical Assistant. Tommy Fairley, Kitchen and Bath Interior Design Certificate and Architectural Engineering Associates. Carmen Becerra, medical assistant.
Jeffrey Joshua Turner, Computer Networking Information System Security degree. Tiffany Wynn, Medical Assistant. Callie Loren Duquette, Computer Networking Information System Security. Kelsey Marie Hellman, Medical Assistant. Samuel Anderson, Computer Networking Information System Security degree. Jessica Gibson, Medical Assistant. Joseph Howell Burke, Computer Networking Information System Security degree. Grace Ann Sambrano, Medical Assistant. Latrice Marie James, Computer Networking Information System Security. Tanya Gonzalez, Medical Assistant. All right. Ryan Wells, HVAC Technician Degree. Andrew Steiger, Aerospace Composites. Kyle Wells, HVAC Technician Degree. Tu Tran Lin, Aerospace Composites. Nicholas Buckingham, HVAC Technician, High School Diploma. Nathaniel Sigsworth, Aerospace Composites. Takale Tamre, HVAC Technician, Associate's Degree. Benjamin Elmore, Advanced Composite Manufacturing. Charles McDonald, Computer Information Technology Degree. Damien Esperitu, Associates Non-Destructive Testing, Certification in Composite Mon Manufacturing. James King, Computer Network Information System Security AAST Degree. Corey Ginther, Material Science, Non-Destructive Testing. Perry Granger, Computer Networking Information System Security, AAST degree. Mercedes Prom, Advanced Composite Technician. Eric Dalton, Computer Networking Information System Security Degree. Shanta M, Aerospace Composites. Jesse D. Herrera, Computer Networking Information System Security Degree. Melinda on Advanced Composites Manufacturing.
Robert Muir, Computer Networking, Information System Security degree. Jia Sin G, Aviation Maintenance, Associate's degree and honor roll. Alec Ballas, Computer Information Technology degree. Nathaniel DiVeldi, Aviation Maintenance, AAT. Jasmine Chung, Architecture Engineering. Tony Wiersma, Associate of Applied Science, Aviation Maintenance. Taryn Lee Bruce, Media Design and Production Degree and Web Design Open Source Development Certificate. Grant Love, Aviation Maintenance, Associate Applied Science and Technology. Megan DeRoche, Graphic Technology Degree and Web Design Certificate. Eric Gutierrez, Professional Pilot, Associate's Degree. Kareen A. Moore, Graphic Technologies Degree. Kyle Heaton. AAST degree, Automotive Technician, Hybrid and Alternative Fuels. Sandra Day, Graphic Technologies degree. <laughs> Kenneth Smith, Jr., AA, Auto Technician degree. Pelagio from Empeña, Graphic Technologies degree. Steve Johnson, AAT degree, Automotive Technician, CPTC Motorsport Vice President. Mike Scott, Graphic Technologies degree. Christopher Loomis, Automotive Mechanical Repair, AAT degree, and CPTC Motorsports President. Jessica Brogotsky, Graphic Technologies degree. John Ingham, Sustainable Building Science, AAST. Singh Kim Kirkpatrick, Graphic Technology Degree. Antonio Robbie, Low Voltage Fire and Security. Andrea Benning, Graphic Technologies. Kalumba Okanda, Low Voltage Security Fire, Fire Alarm Security Systems. Nicholas Gardner, Graphic Technologies Degree. Jared Walker, Electrician Low Voltage, Fire and Security. Hazen Miller, Computer Networking, Information System Security, and High School Diploma.
Zachary Lampman, low voltage, fire and security. Ruslan Howell, computer networking, information system security degree. Roberto Mondragon, low voltage, fire and security. Mike Sherbon, computer networking, information system security degree. Jimmy Lim, non destructive testing. Miriam Govea, CNA and high school diploma. Leif Sultraness, Manufacturing Technologies. Christopher Strauss, Computer Networking, Information System Security Degree. Ashley Marie Freeman, Advanced Composites Manufacturing. Jeffrey Chan, Computer Networking Information Systems Security Degree, Security Professional, and Microsoft Certificates. Jermaine Anderson, Advanced Composite Manufacturing. Anthony Kicho, Computer Networking and Information Systems Security, Security Professional, Microsoft Certified Certificates. Sirico Taylor, Associate Degree, Auto Collision Tech. Lee Johnson, Computer Networking Information Systems Security Degree. Jordan Medeiros, HVAC Degree. Omar Hudo. Computer Networking Information System Security Degree. Lyman Redhouse, HVAC Degree. Gary Jenkins, Computer Networking Information System Security Degree. Patricia Manuel, AAT, Welding Technology. Dennis Donati, Computer Networking Information System Security. Roderick Dozier, AAT, Welding Technology. Tyler Andrews, Computer Networking Information System Security. Dan Carlson, Welding Technology. Jareth Kelly, Computer Networking Information System Security Degree. Thank you.
Dr. Loveday, I accept the candidates of the Clover Park Technical College, class of 2015. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty and the staff at Clover Park Technical College, I bestow on you all of the rights, honors, privileges that you have attained. Will the graduates please rise? You may move your tassels from the right side to the left side. As a symbol of your educational attainment, of the credentials that you have received. Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, I now present to you the Clover Park Technical College graduating class of 2015. <laughs> Students, please. <laughs> Students, please face the audience. You, you may take your seats. You may take your seats. <clears throat> you may take your seats. There's just one more thing that I have to do. Because tonight, you are no longer students. You are alumni. into perpetuity. You have become a part of the Clover Park Technical College family. And as a result of this, and plus I think every good graduation, there should be some graduation presence. Would you agree? So I want you to look under your seats and you'll find a Clover Park Technical College alumni bumper sticker. Again, congratulations. I now declare these proceedings close. <laughs> Graduates, would you please remain seated until everyone on the stage exits and our faculty and staff. Again, thank you so much. Congratulations. It's been a great evening.